Good evening. The fight to keep a sexually violent predator out of a local neighborhood now moves to Rancho Bernardo months after the Mount Helix neighborhood successfully fought against his placement there. Douglas Badger has a history of assaulting young male hitchhikers at gunpoint and has been considered likely to strike again. Fox 5's Kasia Gorgic spoke with residents in the Rancho Bernardo neighborhood that's in between two golf courses and near the 15 freeway. She joins us from Ranch Bernardo with their reaction. This is the house here behind me that's being proposed. It sits on a golf course in a very family friendly neighborhood and neighbors tell us they are prepared to fight against this recommendation. Initial reaction was who thought this was a great idea? gentleman has to go somewhere, but who thought this was a great idea? Within hours, neighbors in Rancho Bernardo were speaking out against the announcement a sexually violent predator may be moving into this home on Frondoso Drive. We've got three to five schools within two miles. Um, if the judicial system is under the impression that Rancho Bernardo is the same community when it was developed in the 60s and 70s, a retirement community, that's not the case. It's completely turned over. Um, tons of young families. Um, and kids fill these streets and this just this isn't the spot for Douglas Badger. Jeff Grace has lived in the neighborhood for nearly a decade. Many of his neighbors shared similar concerns about the potential placement of Douglas Badger. And there's a lot more remote locations and just even like bigger properties where you're not a few feet from the house right next to you and not fenced in and all those things. Here, there's just so many access points, so many opportunities, so many people around in such a small area. Badger, now in his late 70s, has a history of assaulting young male hitchhikers at gunpoint. He was released from prison more than two decades ago and has spent his time since in maximum security state hospitals, participating in sex offender treatment programs. For somebody with that type of track record and potential, um, you've got a home on a golf course, with no gate, with really no restrictions. Sexually violent predators have the right to appeal for outpatient treatment and be placed in a supervised home like this one. But neighbors are already joining together to say not here. With a disorder that is likely to offend again. So if they're thinking that and diagnosing with that and feeling that, I think that we all have the right then to think that that is a possibility and could happen. A hearing will take place on October 29th at 9 a.m. where people can voice their comments or concerns. Now, we did not speak to any neighbors who were in favor of this idea, and so far, no one has heard from the property owner. Reporting from Rancho Bernardo, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.